Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today's the day. <laughs> that was dumb. That, that was dumb. Every tool is a hammer. Unless it's a screwdriver, then it's a chisel. <laughs> we need a torch. Hate that nut. We're not doing that. Because <laughs> it ain't built till it's overbuilt. Don't force it. Get a bigger hammer. Every day is a school day. This rig is ready for use. Uh, there's a few little things got to be taken care of still, but it's very, very close to finished. Close enough to finished. We're going to call it finished. Um, and today's the day we're going to scrub the outside, try to get... It has a lot of this, like, lichens living on it and things, especially on the back. It's really quite gross. We're going to try to get some of that off with the pressure washer very gently. Even though this camper has all been resealed, you don't want to tempt fate, right? So I'm going to make sure not to blast the pressure washer into any kind of seams. But in the big open spaces, I can probably get a lot of this stuff off with that. And then it's going to be hand scrubbing time. My wife's going to help me. We're going to scrub every inch and we'll see how it looks. But we're not going to know until we try. So let's have at it. Um, I'll bring you in here and show you what I'm talking about. And then it's just going to be time to start washing. I should probably close the windows. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm reasonably sure that we can at least make it look this good. I mean, that's just... That's just the oxidation of the paint, you know? That comes off pretty much with a little scrub. Well, needs a little more scrub than that, but this spot here is pretty clean. And it actually shines, I don't know if it shows in the video, but you can see the reflection of my fingertip. So there is some shine there just by taking that oxidation off. I think it's gonna look, I think just washing and scrubbing, it's gonna look 10 times better. Uh, and then, if we do try to do a little buffing, it can only get better, except we have to be careful because on this side, I think I've probably said it in other videos, these areas, there is no paint there. That's just bare aluminum with, with aluminum oxide on it. Um, so, you know, we'll scrub that, we'll, we'll clean it, it'll shine a little bit, but it won't be blue. But we got to be very careful around the edges to try not to make this thing bigger, right? We want to minimize how much of it has no paint. Um, so that's one of the challenges here. Another is these things, which are everywhere, what they are is like that stuff. That's somebody tarred the roof one time. And tarring the roof is not fixing the roof, right? But a lot of people do it. Anyways, they, they tarred the roof and they spilled tar you know on the outside and that's kind of nasty and i've tried it on some some of the junk pieces we cut out and by the time you rub through the tar you've rubbed through the paint next to the tar so it's kind of tricky we probably will end up just leaving a lot of that those tar spots alone but we're gonna do the best we can we don't really know what we're doing so let's just see what happens uh you folks are long for the ride How about that? Now you might have noticed that I did spray the seams, but I was careful to not spray like in to the seam. You spray off of the seam. Uh, and that way you can get close, you know, without having to worry about blasting water in there. And I just stuck my head inside and there's no water, you know, running down the wall or anything. So that's good. Um, I kept waiting to see water run down the inside of the window. That would have ruined my day and been just about typical, but it didn't happen. So, so far, life is good. That's a huge improvement. And this stuff is going to scrub off most of that black stuff, but it is gonna leave us, you can see, I don't know if it shows, but 
there's some thin spots here where the aluminum's already showing through. So the sun has not been good to this old girl. We're just going to have to make it the best we can. I'm going to keep pressure washing, work my way all the way around four sides, and then we will dig into the hand scrubbing. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> supposed to wait for the camera. I thought the camera was running. This is a YouTube channel. Oh. Sorry, you gave me a honey do list and I'm just trying to get it the honey done list. You can't wait. Right. You've been dying to see this thing clean, haven't you? I really you? have been. How is it looking? There's like a blue tinge running down with the water. Yeah, I really think it's, uh, but I think it's going to brighten up night. Well, that I think is the soap. There's going to be a lot of bare metal, isn't there? Yeah. Gonna have a patina. A patina. A patina. Yeah. Can I help? Yeah, please do. There's more scrubbies right in there. Inside the door. What do you think, honey? I think it looks pretty good. Really shining up nice. I mean it's clean. It's still wet, of course. Yeah. It's missing a lot of paint, more than I thought, but well, ain't nothing we can do about that. Right. I'm anxious to see the side with the new tin to see how it matches up. Mm. It really did brighten up a lot. Yeah, it came back a mile. I wish my abs would come back that easy. Right. You know, they're in there. Yeah, what does this square dance camper make you think of? I don't know. It brings me back to square dancing in gym class. Oh, yeah. Mrs. Page. Coach, Coach Cronin. Cronin. Yeah. The boys and girls would come together oh, gosh. for one unit a year for square yep. dancing in gym class. Are they still square dance in gym no, class? No, they don't square dance in gym class. Oh, they need Coach Cronin back. Yeah. I wanted to show you this. These, see, these stripes, just like on the panel that I painted, these stripes are just bare aluminum. Um, and I just went over them with SOS pad, and I didn't get crazy, but they're probably twice as shiny as they were. And, you know, if I kept... You could polish them like a mirror, but the problem is there's paint right next to them. So... You know, you have to either mask the paint off or just be super careful with a little Dremel or something. Either way, you got a pretty good chance of hurting the paint even more. And I mean, it's already pretty hurt. So I think that's probably good. It, it looks a lot tidier just being scrubbed down a little bit. <music>
unfortunately, it's just like, as luck would have it, this camper sat in the same place for, I think they said 30 years. And this side was facing the south. It just got all the sun, took all the paint off. And once it's gone, it's gone. There just is no paint left. There's nothing you can do about it. My grandfather used to say, you can't make ice cream out of horse manure. <laughs> so there's that. Um, you know, it looks a lot better than it did. The stripes here shined up halfway decent. And I guess it is what it is. Uh, I got this area as best I could because that's where the decal is going to go. There are places that can be better. Like, for example, up here, I think, I think we can make the whole thing in the front here look like this by scrubbing this off. Um, but it's kind of hot and sweaty day. We decided... Maybe that's a good springtime project. Try to make it a little bit shinier, but it isn't gonna get. <laughs> it isn't gonna get a lot better. That's all there is to it. What do you think, honey? I'm really happy with that. I think it's super cool, and literally the people that gave it to us were going to burn it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it's better than that. So it was a fun idea, and it took us a little little longer than. We had anticipated but you know life happens and we had a lot going on yeah and now it's ready so now the fun part starts i've been Cooking. gathering up so many decorations oh. for this. <laughs> so i i can uh head to the inside here in the next day or two and put all those little finishing touches on and then i just gotta start baking so you're happy with it the way it is I mean, Okay. I didn't want it to be... I only had one person I really needed to please here. I didn't want it to be like new. The whole vintage patina is what drew me to it to start, so... Like me. Right. The vintage patina. Old and crusty. All right, so that, as they say in the show biz, is a wrap, I guess. Um, there's certainly more we can do here to make it better, but... It is absolutely good enough for 2024. Uh, we may make some improvements next spring, but we're good for now. Right? Right. We good for now? We're good for now. All right. We have a we have a cool little town event coming up in two weeks. And our daughter gets married in three weeks. So I think we've devoted the time that we can devote to it we got, for this year. Yeah, I got to get this thing out of the way because I got a wedding car to fix up gonna be yeah another project they just keep it coming i don't want you to get bored thanks honey mm -hmm. that's when you get old right you let the old man in that's right okay i may live forever <laughs> if i have to live until my projects are done i will live forever all right that's nice. right side i never thought of it that way right and you have all these cool projects you're getting done yeah really cool so anyways a little piece of americana Saved from the dump. <laughs> from the bonfire. Yeah. And if you come to Thistle Day, if you're local, make sure you come to Thistle Day. It's the end of September every year. Um, and you can get... Uh, what do you got? Right now I got, I got nothing. What are you going to have at Thistle I'm, Day? I'm hoping to have some pie. Some apple pie. Thistle Day is the end of September. It's fall. Some apple pie, maybe a little pumpkin spice coffee. Pumpkin spice. That's right. You got to have the pumpkin spice. I don't like it. I personally don't like it either, but Some there's people, a lot of people like it. Yeah, they live for the pumpkin yeah. spice. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate your time. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. <laughs>